terminal velocity of small objects in the liquid if suppose the we are having a big body then again we are applying the same formula as that was in air so that we are having this half uh, c rho a v square so that formula is to be applied here but in case of small objects we will study in the uh, the terminal velocity of the object in the liquid let this is now object this is falling vertically downward its weight this is now drag force f drag this is now object here we are having the medium this is not liquid so now let m equal to mass of object mass of spherical object as i have told you that to study the spherical objects is more easy so we will we select this uh, spherical objects and r equal to radius of the object rho equal to density of material of the object and eta coefficient of viscosity coefficient of viscosity so now drag force force is acting on the body now number 1 is the weight mg acting vertically downward and second is drag force this act vertically upward so the net force will be how much net force now this f equal to mg minus f drag so this is equal to mg minus 6 pi eta r v that we know that's the drag force is given by this formula 6 pi eta r v this is now net force f so now acceleration will be how much a equal to g minus 6 pi eta r v upon m this is now actually so this is the equation of motion of the object since the object for, uh, is falling vertically downward so definitely the net force will act vertically downward so now we have what that again if we draw the graph here this is suppose velocity this is suppose acceleration in this way then we are getting the 
curve like this. So at this point, this a equal to g, then this v is equal to zero. A equal to g, v, g means the body is falling vertical, uh, falling freely. So when this is falling freely, then the acceleration of the body will be equal to the acceleration due to the gravity. In that case, this terminal velocity, this velocity is equal to zero. Now in this place, at this point, now here this a equal to zero, a equal to zero. So this v equal to v t, the terminal velocity. So this is the maximum velocity. This is the maximum velocity. when a equal to g this v is equal to 0 and when a equal to 0 that we come at this point then this v is equal to vt maximum velocity the terminal velocity the terminal velocity terminal velocity so now what we have that when this a is equal to 0 in this equation then we are having this 0 equal to g minus 6 pi eta r v t upon m or v t is equal to now this is m g upon 6 pi eta r this is now formula and now here what is that we put the value of m the mass m equal to 4 by 3 pi r q into rho rho the density of the material of the body so this vt v t equal to this will be now this 2 y 9 r square this is now rho into g upon eta however we have not considered the density of the liquid because we have taken the body of very uh, heavy density so that is, is small in comparison to the density of the object and now if we consider to that one then this rho with that here this will be now rho minus sigma only difference is to this one If sigma equal to density of liquid, then this V t equal to 2 y 9 r square rho minus sigma into g upon eta. This will be the only difference. So now let us have the velocity time graph.
here we have the velocity here we have the time time this is now zero this is now zero now what happens that the graph is like this If we take this all, this is now point, this is now A, this is now point your B, this is now point C, and this is now point D. Point D. Then we, what we are having this? So this is now VT curve. VT curve. So now we can explain to this, this terminal velocity with the help of this velocity time graph. So from now you can see that this O A B, O A B now up to this B. From O to A to B, 0, A, B, what the body is accelerating, the object is accelerating because velocity is increasing. Now then from B to C, from B to C, the body is still acceleration, though this graph is not the straight line, but this is coming in this way, the object is, is still accelerating. still accelerating. Now then we see the C to D from C to D. What is happening? The object is not accelerating but it has got the. So now in C to D acceleration is equal to 0. So, and object attains maximum velocity called terminal velocity. So this you see that C to D and then onwards. Now if suppose we are going to in this way. This is now point E. Then the curve is parallel to the time axis. And velocity is not increasing at all. So what we have that from C to D if we have this. This is one more E. The acceleration is equal to 0, so we can write it like this one. There is this d v t upon d t, this is equal to 0. 
सो नो एक्सेलरेशन वेन द बॉडी हैज अटेंड द मैगजिमम वेलॉसिटी दैट इज द टर्मिनल वेलॉसिटी सो दिस ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो ए इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स द नेट फोर्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो नेट फोर्स एफ दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो नो बॉडी इज सेट टू बी इन द इक्विप्रियम the object is in equilibrium when v equal to vt so this shows the variation of the velocity with the time and that explains that how this terminal velocity is maximum in case of the body, uh, body falling vertically downward in the liquid medium now you can see that this terminal velocity so uh, that we will take some another point uh, in this case that when this uh, terminal velocity will depend upon which of the factors so now i am uh, just having this discussion on the terminal velocity of the object so thank you very much